Hi, my name is Daryl Forbes. We're in the St. Lucia Wetland Park in Eastern South Africa. And we've just had thousands and thousands of pelicans come over. Just an incredible sight. But what we've got here is a small pot of hippos in a very small pan. What we're going to do is try and take some digiscoping images. There are five things that you need to look out for when trying to get nice, crisp, sharp digiscoping images. Get good focus. Know your camera settings. Use a remote release or a countdown timer. Get a nice stable platform for your digiscoping setup. And use good quality optics, both in the camera and in the telescope. So one of the great things about using the DSLR system is that you have got an optical viewfinder. So this you can really use to get your eye in and really tweak the focus until you get a nice crisp sharp image. With something like these hippos you want to get that eye really shining and glistening. So ISO is one of the most important settings that you want to look at in your camera when setting it up. The higher the ISO, so on this camera say 1600 ISO, I can take really really fast photos. In other words, the shutter speed can be really really fast. When I've got a faster photo, I'm less likely to get camera shake or any sort of shake in the image, which is a really good thing for digiscoping. The downside is that the higher the ISO, the more grain I get in the image. That means that when you zoom it in really far, you can kind of see that the image isn't perfect. It's got little spots in it. Now, if we have lots of light, so it's a very bright day or we've got lots of light that we can reduce that ISO and we can take that number down to 100 or 200. That means that we can take really, really good quality photos, but that'll always be at a slower shutter speed. The aperture setting is something that's really important in digiscoping. I tend to use the aperture priority mode, which lets me adjust how big the opening in the lens is. That means that the, the smaller the F number, that aperture number, the bigger the opening in my lens. So I'm going to take my camera's aperture all the way down to 4.5. That's, that's my smallest F number, my biggest aperture. That means that I'll get the fastest possible shutter speed at any time. So whenever I'm out digiscoping, I keep that aperture as, as big and open as possible to get the fastest photos. The faster the photo, the less chance there is of any shake in the image, and the sharper, crisper the image is going to be. So my current setup right now is the equivalent of 875mm telephoto lens. That's a really big lens, and the bigger the lens, the more light it needs to take photos. What I've done is I've set my ISO to the maximum possible, which is 1600 on this camera, and then I've open the aperture up as wide as possible so that's the smallest number and when I look at the hippo out here I've just got its face and I've got an, uh, a shutter speed of, of 800th of a second now anything you can do while digiscoping that'll reduce shake or any movement that you put into the system that'll help you get a, a sharper crisper image so one of the things that's that is useful is if you've got a remote trigger or a cable release or in this camera what we can also use is is the self timer so if we were to then change it to a 10 second self timer we can set up the photo When we have it in position, I'm just going to let it count down, it's going to count down and then automatically take the photo. This, is, this obviously works well for something like the hippos that are fairly still and we've now got the still image. I know that I haven't shaken the camera or the setup just by holding it. Now something that's really important to get nice stable images is a good stable setup. I've got a carbon fiber tripod which is really light so easy to carry around 
and the carbon fiber tends to dampen vibration way more than an aluminium tripod for example. The other thing I've got is, is this telescope rail which has helped to shift the weight forward so I've got a balanced setup. If my weight were further back, so if I didn't have a, a balanced rail, then the weight is at the back and I'm going to be forcing the camera to stay in position and just that act of forcing it will introduce vibration into the image. Now the last thing that's, that's also very important when trying to get a nice crisp clear photo is the quality of the optics in the telescope and the quality of the optics in the lens. If either of these are of a lower quality then your images will tend to be softer, not as clear and you're really going to struggle to get the, the correct colors and brightness that you can get with, with high quality gear. So putting that extra capital into it will really make a difference to your photography. So the pelicans are going nice.